Hey, welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and here to bring you a market update. Uh, right now, Bitcoin is going in the trash, and I believe I know the reason why. I've got a couple um, scenarios that are playing out in the world news right now, and a couple you may have heard of, um, but I just want to cover that real quick with you guys. Um, we were at about $1,800. Now we're starting to play with 1650 relatively quickly. Um, so there's been a large dump of Bitcoin. Um, people are questioning where that money is going, what's happening. And I have a couple theories on that. Um, but I also um, am keeping an eye on uh, the markets. Uh, things are everywhere. Things are up and down, left and right. Um, it's kind of crazy. And I saw one gentleman say in, in the chat, he's like, man, I, I love Ether because it's just holding steady. And, uh, you know, it, it's a pretty safe place to be with all the chaos going on right now. So, um, but let's go into the, the reasons behind Bitcoin's likely dropping. So, the first things first. Today, around uh, earlier today, earlier this morning, uh, Bit, Bitfinex finally uh, got done with an investigation uh, it was a large-scale investigation on them, um, and essentially uh, their site was locked up and people couldn't get access to their funds. It was going on for a long time. So that that all uh, cleared just fine, which is good news for our community. But um, all of a sudden, a lot of people had access to funds that had been tied up for a really long time, right? Um, so we've had a huge Bitcoin run. I've had a huge Ether run. Um, and, uh, you know, people cashed out. How would you feel if your money was locked up and you don't have access to it for a while? You'd, you'd want to get out of it, right? So that is potentially what happened. In fact, uh, almost exactly around that time is when you see this big dip. And you can see on the screen um, that there is a very large dip this morning. So um, and then it kind of picked back up like there was hope. But no. Um, it moved downward. Now, I think that the second downward movement is the news that's spreading about the healthcare system um, getting infected with a uh, ransom virus. If you're not familiar, that is a virus that essentially demands Bitcoin from you um, in order to go away. So it locks everything up and you're not able to use your system. Um, so the healthcare system in Britain got uh, locked up. The whole network. Um, it's being reported that there, the total is in in the millions of Bitcoin <laughs> that must be paid, um, and that's not happening, guys. Do the math on that. Uh, what's sixteen hundred times um, a million? So, anyhow, um, I think that uh, there's a lot of new people right now in cryptocurrency, and right now there is a news breaking that is associating Bitcoin with something very negative, right? So people who don't understand Bitcoin are probably scared and they're probably getting out. And how long will this downward trend go? I don't know. Um, it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, just the recent markets make it hard to do a technical analysis that you can really trust. Um, there's still a lot to be said about technical analysis, but keep in mind we were in triple digits not that long ago, and here we are, um, just today up in the 1800s trying to trying to push to 2K, and uh, here we go dropping $150 in just just a few hours. So um, things are kind of crazy right now, um, and just something to be aware of. Um, you, you know, Ether is a good safe place at the moment. I can't say that'll last forever. Um, a lot of people are wondering, well, where's all the money going? It seems like people may be able to leave in the market right now um, just because just the last few days have been kind of boring. Uh, there haven't really been any, you know, crazy movement. Man, we were on a, we were having fun um, the last few weekends and the last few weeks. But this, this, this week was very, very calm. So are we in a bear market? Um, the charts would say that we're headed that way, right? Um, long term, um, I don't think you're watching this channel if you're not bullish. So, <laughs> um, 
keep at it. Uh, this is a buying opportunity. Uh, buy when people are scared, right? Um, I, I still uh, believe in the belief system supporting Bitcoin. And so, um, you know, uh, it's, it could be a good investment. Where to pick it up and where to buy it? And I don't know. Don't know if I have the answer for you on that one. But um, keep your eyes peeled. Anyhow, guys, um, in my next video, I'll be doing some more news this evening. I'll be covering an update on the, the Steam it scam um, or potential scam. Um, I'll also be uh, updating you guys on uh, the recent Coinbase situation. Um, I'm going to cover a little bit of the uh, ICO Aragon that's coming up next week. A uh, very interesting ICO, one that's really, really cool. And, and what's cool about it is you can actually go try it out. So I'm going to cover that. And then um, I'm also going to be covering a little bit of Z Classic news as well. So uh, if you like what you're hearing, hit subscribe, hit like. Leave a comment if you have questions or you uh, want to request some information. I'm happy to do that for you. I have a long request list for my viewers of things that I can go learn about and bring to them. Um, because uh, I like giving back to you guys and I also like learning that stuff. You guys have opened my eyes some pretty cool concepts. So apologize for, for the loud klutz uh, in the room here. My dog, he's making quite a bit of noise. I apologize for that. But um, I'll be back soon, guys. I'm going to eat my dinner and uh, get another one out for you and uh, give you the news that you guys are looking for. So make sure you subscribe. Make sure you go to Steam It and shoot me an up vote as well. Um, I'm King Adu. May the force be with you, and I'll talk with you soon.